en blue. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the grand opening of the Rainbow Theatre. My name is Yumi Wright and I'm so excited to see you and you and you. Tonight our show is all about the colours of the rainbow. Do you know the colours of the rainbow? Well, without further ado, let's sit back and watch the show. Are you clapping? I hope you're clapping. Bye! Once upon a time, deep in the woods of wonder, a fairy as green as the leaves growing on the branches was seen flitting and flouting about. Oh, green, you are the most wondrous colour, the most beautiful of all, for you are a sign of life and hope. And spread all of your shades throughout the land, the trees, the grass, the bushes and plants. Everyone feast your eyes upon green, for it is the best. The earth began to shake and shiver and rumble, and up rose the sea. A magnificent blue swirling all around and around and around. Whereupon a mermaid swam to the surface and promptly shouted, Oh no, dear fairy, you are most mistaken, for blue is much more wonderful than green. It holds the peace and beauty of the sea and sky. It represents water and there can be no doubt that blue is the best colour for ever. Just then, without further delay, an angel descended upon them to have her say, You too, you know nothing of colour and worth. Yellow by far is the most happiest of colours, for it shines within the sun and the moon. And the stars sparkle with it. And let's not forget the sweet yellow light of the sunflowers who make everyone smile and laugh. You must at once agree, yellow is the best. Along came the Easter Bunny, hopping and blowing his trumpet about. You all have no idea and must shed a tear, for orange is the most fabulous of all colours. The children will soon eat chocolate for days upon days and make themselves sick. However, it's the carrots, the oranges and mangoes who taste best and help grow our bodies and keep us all safe. Orange is full of health and vitality. And let's not forget the stunning sunrise and sunsets where orange blesses us with her beauty. At once rose a phoenix quite alarmed at their speak. Fear not of the red flame, for red is the best. It is the colour of life blood and of the red rose. For red is the colour of fire, and of that you can never tire. Warmth and strength can be found within the heart. So you see, red is by far the best. A dragon swooped down and gave them a fright. With a booming great voice, it spoke with all its might. Get back, all of you five, and watch the world come alive with purple. Oh, purple, the colour to defeat them all. Of courage and bravery, royalty and depth. Purple is a sign of authority and wisdom. People do not question purple, they obey. Therefore, purple is the best. Slinking in silently, the cat decided it was her time. All of you would be nothing without indigo, I fear. For indigo adds to all of you here. You need indigo for balance and contrast. The colour of inner peace and thought. Reflection and twilight. Indigo is the best colour we see. As they all spoke, each louder than last, a great storm came and lashed them all about. Thunder boomed and lightning crackled across the sky. The clouds had heard everything and spoke. How silly of you all to quarrel about the best colour. Can you not see each colour is made for its own special purpose? It is time now to see the true beauty of every colour you speak. And with that, the clouds parted 
to show all the colours stretched together across the sky as a magical rainbow. This serves to remind everyone to appreciate each other for their own special talents and to come together as one. Wow, everyone! Wasn't that magnificent? I just love all the colours of the rainbow. I hear next week the Easter Bunny is visiting. Would you like to see a show about him? Let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.